Jessie Cayley. I'm the City of Egan's Water Resources Specialist and today I'm out on our smaller boat. Um, we have two boats with motors on them and generally in Egan you're not allowed to use motors but we do it for maintenance purposes. As you can see today I'm working on picking up some thin ice signs from the winter time. Ice is definitely gone now so we're just taking the boat around the shore and checking to see if we can find any signs that have floated in. I just put my motor into gear. We are gonna go forward a little bit. And I'm just looking along the edge here. A lot of people don't like the look of this algae on top. This is called filamentous algae, but it's actually not so bad. It's kind of a shade cover for the fish and it rests on top of the plants. And this kind of algae can't hurt anybody other than being kind of gross. Um, there's a lot of nice plants in the water today. I can see a lot of fish swimming under the boat if I look over the side. Let's see, I'm not seeing any signs here. Maybe we'll go up. I'm on Fish Lake right now. This is the Fish Lake Fishing Pier, which is pretty new. We got that one from the DNR and then our folks helped the DNR install it. That's a good deal. Get to see a lot of things when you're out on the lakes. So here is the motor, it's working, it's a nice little motor, and I'll show you more of the boat when we get it back up on the trailer. This is the smaller of our two work boats. Both of our boats have an outboard motor on them, um, and it's maintenance vehicles only in Egan. Otherwise, if the public is using motors, you need to make sure it's a trolling motor or just paddle. So we use our boats for fish surveys and for thin ice sign pickup and for any of another variety of things just to do heavier work out in the lakes. Um, and they work pretty well for us. Here's the boat again. Now I've got it all set and back on the trailer and we're going to move to the next lake and keep working. So the boat lets us get out there and do what we need to do. We also have the pickup truck to pull the boat trailer and carry other things and we have a small canoe. This is a 12, 12 and a half foot canoe and uh, we do all of our water sampling out of that. So you can see there's plenty of work to do. Here we are back in the boat. We are at Thomas Lake this time. Cottonwood in the air, a lot of algae on the surface, a lot of fish in the water. Still picking up thin ice signs. So, I'm gonna drive around this shoreline for a little bit. Here's how you make the motor go into gear. See, there's a reverse and a neutral and a forward. There we go. So now we can start driving. Look for signs. Sometimes if you want to drive through the algae, you just got to go faster. Sometimes you got to untangle your motor by going back and then forward again. That's a pretty tree. I don't see any signs yet. All right, here's a big land of algae. There's plants under it, but not too many. So it's actually not too hard to drive through. This is also an excellent time to practice your singing. I don't know if you have kids, but I do. Oh, look at those fish. Did you see them jump? Nice. Where the north wind meets the sea, there's a river full of algae. Sleep, my darling, safe and sound. For in this algae, signs will be found. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? Is that a muskrat over there? That little guy. He doesn't see boats very often. I bet he's gonna jump in. No? He's just pretending to be a log. Alright. Mm. There's a wood duck house. Pretty wood ducks. I'm gonna 
give this a try where we go reverse. Get some of this algae off. There we go. Gotta clear the propeller. Let's try again. See, well, that's much faster. Woo! Hello, Big Rig Rally. Bob Keeney here, operations supervisor with the Egan Civic Arena. And of course, our contribution to the rally is gonna be one of our two Zambonis. We're a two-sheet arena, so we have two machines. And I'm gonna hand you off to Kevin Peterson, our maintenance coordinator, to give you the dime tour of how this machine operates. Hi, I'm Kevin, welcome to Egan. I want to tell you a little bit about our Zamboni. So in the front up in here is the snow dump tank where we collect all the snow that we shave off the ice. So it's the snow from the surface of the ice. Plus there's a blade mounted on the ice that shaves it to keep it smooth and keep our ice thickness at a, a reasonable thickness. Then we move around here, all our Zambonis are electric. So they run on batteries, so we don't have any emissions with gas or LP or anything like that. Here's the tank that holds hot water, that holds 200 gallons of hot water. And this is the water that you would see coming out the back of the machine while the operator's running the machine out on the rink. And this floods the rink to fill in all the ruts and skate holes back into the ice. Up here we have a wash water tank that circulates water that helps wash the surface of the ice to get lint and all that stuff that's off the ice. And to blow out the snow out of the skate marks and stuff so that the hot water can go in to fill in the holes. Um, so we move around here, we have a horizontal auger that's the circle thing on the bottom that pulls all the snow to the center. And then there's a vertical auger that brings it up and shoots it into the dump box. And then down below here, there's a blade that's mounted on the machine. That's a knife that we have to have sharpened and we change them once a week. And that actually shaves the surface of the ice and we can control how deep we set the knife and how hard we want it to cut. Um, so back here we have our controls that this is just how deep we cut with the blade. These are hydraulic controls that run the augers and the dump boxes. These two valves control the water for the hot making water that comes out the back and for the wash water. And what else do we have left here? So that's the basis of the machine and the rest of it is the skill learning to drive it is the speed how fast you go, how much water you can put down, how deep you can cut. The more that a skater skate on the ice and make surface snow, that adds to how much snow comes into the dump box, plus with our blade. The towel that you see in the back acts like a paintbrush that spreads that water out to give it a nice smooth surface. Um, and if you didn't shave your ice and you just laid water on top, it would be all rough and bumpy. So the idea is to shave it to make it a smooth surface and to maintain the thickness of the ice. If we never take anything out, our ice would just keep growing, so. Hello, Big Rig Rally. This is our 2019 single axle international plow truck. It has a 12 foot front plow, a 10 foot wing, an underbody plow that can help scrape pack snow and ice from the roadway. It can haul 100 gallons of liquid anti-icing material. Back here is our auger and our spinner that dispenses anti-icing material onto the roadway. It has on-spot chains that can be deployed to help gain more traction in snow and ice conditions. This is our 2019 single axle international plow truck. Hello, Big Rig Rally. This is our Elgin mechanical street sweeper. Our sweeper is equipped with one main broom, two gutter brooms, one on either side of the vehicle, a large water tank for dust control, a large hopper to collect the material and a conveyor belt. The material gets pulled from the curb line with the gutter broom, feeds it to the main broom. The main broom then sweeps the material into the conveyor belt 
and the conveyor belt feeds the material into the hopper. The hopper can then be raised and dumped into a dump truck and the material can be hauled away. Hi there, I'm Jesse Cayley. I work for the Water Resources Division of Public Works and today I'm gonna to show you our plant harvester. We use this machine in lakes in specifically three lakes in Egan that are large enough that we can get the machine in and out because it's about the size of a small house. And um, we use it in the summertime, right when the plants are growing the thickest, just to make some open access areas for people to recreate in the lakes. So let's get a little closer and I'll show you the different parts of this machine. So here we are a little closer to the plant harvester and um, you might be able to tell that this is the front part that goes into the water as we drive forward. And I'm gonna go a little closer and show you the cutting blades. This is basically a giant lawnmower for the lake. And while we think that plants in the lake are good things and they, they make a nice home for fish to live in, we do also recognize that people would like to be able to recreate in the lakes, boating and paddle boarding and things like that. So we do use this to sort of mow the lawn once a year in a few of Egan's lakes. So you can see right here, these teeth, when the machine is turned on, there's two layers of teeth and they move back and forth in opposite directions. And it makes sort of a chucka 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 sound. And then up here, the plants would go onto this front conveyor and they would go all the way up. And then that yellow seat up there is where I sit and I can see everything and I can make sure that I'm not gonna hit the bottom or if I catch a snapping turtle or a big fish or something, I can hold up and they can jump right off. So let's go up there and we'll take a look. So here we are up on top of the plant harvester. I've climbed up the little ladder on the side and now you can see the yellow driver's seat where I was looking up at before. Um, that front conveyor is where the plants would get cut and then they would, when the conveyor is coming towards you, they're all scooped up and then they fall down into this compartment down here where there's another conveyor. So you get sort of a big bale of plants and then you move that conveyor just backwards a little bit and you can fill up this entire ship. So you can see this bottom conveyor runs the whole length of the plant harvester. Um, those are the paddle wheels. They're stored on board when we're not using it. And when we get plants filled up to the very end, see there's the end, then we can back it into shore and we hook up to this conveyor. Now that is the end that we would hook up to Usually that end is touching the water and then this end is tipped up. That end is placed over the dry land where a truck is sitting underneath it. And then you use the conveyor belts to load all the plants into the truck and then they get composted at the city's compost site. So here I am close to the driver's seat on the plant harvester and you can see there's four knobs. Now this thing is controlled by a hydraulic system where if you push this knob forward, then that paddle wheel on that side goes forward. If you push it backwards, it goes backward. It's just working based on the amount of pressure in different hoses. So that's the same. This is for the conveyor, if you wanna bring it close to you or away from you. And then this turns those chopper blades on and off. So you can actually drive the thing without running any of that stuff. Um, there's a gas engine underneath, it's a diesel engine. And that keeps the whole hydraulic system pressurized and it does create a decent amount of heat in the summer. So I'm not gonna lie, I do sweat a lot when I'm driving this thing. It's loud, it's a little bit stinky, but I know it's important to people. So we try and do our best to make lakes that are healthy and also that are fun to recreate in. Big Rig Rally. 